Hello, I'm Arlene Stewart and welcome to East Lothian. I've been invited by Visit East Lothian to see the sights and the attractions this amazing area has to offer. I love history, so first stop, Musselburgh, New Hales House, built in 1686, originally owned by the Dalrymple family, said to be stuffed full of art and furniture. I'm going to have a look. Come with me. This room's pretty snazzy as a guest bedroom, but the thing I love about it most is, and I think all bedrooms should have this, a secret door. But where will it lead? Mm. And every visit to a historic house should finish in the stable block having a coffee and a nice piece of cake. That's what I love about East Lothian, so close to Edinburgh, and yet it feels like a world apart. And in Musselburgh itself, if historic properties are your thing, you've got New Hales, you've got Hales Castle, you've got Tintallon in East Lothian, you've got Preston Mill, where Jamie from Outlander was filmed coming off the water wheel. Do you remember that? It's all very exciting. Entertainment, you've got Brunton Theatre, you've got a little bet at the GG's, Musselburgh Race Course, or how about playing Scotland's oldest golf course? It's all here. It's exhausting, this tour. Best fuel up before my next stop. Cheers. A visit to East Lothian is no ordinary day out. And for the kids, there is something for everyone. Miles of golden sandy beach, great hills to climb like Berwick Law. You've got a zip wire ride at Fox Lake. How about the waves? and the flumes at Dunbar Leisure Pool, Concord at the Museum of Flight, and this, the most amazing interactive conservation and education charity, the Scottish Seabird Centre. Kids love it. So do I. Now, the perfect day out in East Lothian has to have something for everyone. If it's food and drink, everything here from fresh fish and chips in the harbour at North Berwick or Dunbar to high-end restaurants and everything in between. What I love about North Berwick is the independent retailers, shops that will catch your eye like that dress. Ooh. Now East Lothian is known as the Garden of Scotland, the perfect place for a distillery with all of the flavours of this area rolled into its single malt. They offer tours here and a taste of the amber nectar. You know, it's the perfect way to end a tour of Glen Kinchy and of East Lothian with a little whiskey tasting. This rather nice single malt and the whiskey cocktail. I'm going to be here for a while. The thing is, I come to East Lothian all the time. Why? Doesn't matter where I go. Haddington, Dunbar, Gullen, Aberlady. It feels like I'm on holiday. That's how special this place is. East Lothian, no ordinary day out. Try it for yourself. Cheers. Cheers.